Here we can see a form at design time. I can tell it's design time because of this tab here. And in this region you can see in brackets it says design. Now what we're looking at in truth is a class. And I can tell it's a class by clicking on this particular tab here. And what we can see is we have a template for a class where it says public class form 1. And down here you can see it says end class. Our responsibility as a programmer is to ensure that we add code in this particular area. And there's a number of ways of doing this. We can type directly into this area or we can add components and actually add events to those components. For example, we can have a button and we can add a click event. And the code will appear in this particular region here. Now if we have a look at this form again, we can see we're in the design mode. And what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to click here to run this particular application. And when I do, this appears. Now we have to be quite clear. This is an instance of the class that we were looking at a moment ago in the design view. And this that I'm moving around is the instance of the Form 1 class. Now something quite interesting will happen here. Look, I can make this object because when we talk about an instance of a class, we're really talking about an object bigger and smaller as you've just seen. I could click here and minimize. I can click there and maximize. And I can click here and close this particular object down. Now where's the code for all of that? Because I certainly didn't write that code. Well, the answer is, it kind of comes with Form 1. Microsoft have done all the necessary coding for this particular form behind the scenes. And our responsibility is not to worry about that. Our responsibility is to add components to this and add our own program code. And in truth, we will find that a lot of the f facilities that this gives us, or abilities, I should say, or behaviors is a better word, comes from... A hierarchy which we'll look at in later uh, videos but to emphasize this is the instance of the class form 1 by definition therefore that is an object because an instance of a class is an object